Hello, um, I have no makeup on. I look terrible. My hair is a mess, but I have just realised that I haven't videoed in a while. And um, I am 10 injections in to Humira. There they are, all 10 of them. Um, uh, so I wanted to give you a little update really on how I was finding it, um, what the pitfalls have been um, and I am going to be completely honest and say that um, improvements have been very slow to the extent that I thought this isn't doing anything. I don't know why I'm stabbing myself every fortnight for nothing. Um, the dead leg, it lasted for a while. Every time I injected, I had a dead leg. I should put these down, actually. Every time I injected, I had a dead leg. Um, that's gone. Um, every now and again, I hit a, uh, I guess, a tiny little capillary, and it bleeds a little bit more than I thought it might bleed. Um, but that's, you, you know, it doesn't hurt the injection. Um, and like I said, it's been, um, it's been very slow progress, but 10 injections in and I inject once a fortnight. And I have to say, my dad asked me the other day, um, how's your back pain? How are your ulcers? How is the betchets? I haven't had a serious flare up in a really long time. I'm feeling a bit, I don't know whether you can hear, there's a frog in my throat and I think I'm coming down with a bit of a cold and I've got an ulcer on my tongue which is really symptomatic of um, betchets basically, just ulcers on the tongue. Um, but yeah, the, the, but this might be my first flare up since at least before Christmas. My back pain, it's not gone but it's dramatically reduced. And I am honestly finding that these things are helping. And it has been a really slow, really gradual process. Um, and at times I felt like ringing my consultant and going, I don't know what the point of any of this is. But I've stuck with them. And it's only been in the last couple of days that I've actually noticed that I've been feeling okay. Um, yeah, um, the illness throughout the day um, of, of ac the actual injection, that's gone. Um, the nerves of actually doing it, that's gone. Um, I don't feel so sick after doing it anymore. I think maybe the sickness was probably the nerves. Um, I've got anti-sickness tablets and I haven't taken them for um, post-injection stuff for a while. Um, yeah, so for me it's all looking up really. They're, um, they, they've been a slow burner, that's fair to say, and um, it's been since October and it's like mid-February now, but um, real improvements have been made. The pain, I'm sleeping through the night. I cannot tell you the beauty of being able to sleep through the night and not wake up in pain. Actually, I probably can tell you that because if you're watching this, then you've actually Googled Humira or done a YouTube search for Humira or Betchets and then you'll know what kind of pain we're in. Um, but I've slept through the night and that's been bloody brilliant. I can't, yeah. Um, I, I, I can walk slightly further. I went to the gym the other day. Now I did 20 minutes, which is pretty shit effort for a gym. I think that's fair to say. But um, I did go and um, I did put effort in and I, I worked up a sweat and then I left. But I couldn't have even thought thought about doing it uh, in sort of 
um, August, September, any time before October, really. I couldn't have even thought about going to the gym, but I went. And I felt like I could go and that I could really put the effort in. And I am feeling much better. I mean, I'm, you know, I got, got a cold now and, you know, they do weaken an immune system and I am on immunosuppressants, so I am likely to pick up a cold and these sorts of things. But, um, I got, honestly, if they offer you Humira, take it absolutely take it because it will be your lifesaver anyway that's all i wanted to say just a quick update i'll give you another update um maybe when i'm 20 in and we'll see where i am there maybe i've made even bigger improvements fingers crossed